friends welcome back to another video on android development in this video we will learn how we can create floating context menu or you can say long pressed menu so let's get start first of all go to the activity main.xml and change this text view into the button and now give the id let's say i give the id to button now change this text hello world to floating menu now go to the main activity.java and access that button and initialize it r dot id dot button okay now we register this button for context menu so call this method register for context menu and pass this button okay now first we will create the menu that we will show after clicking on that button now right click on this resource file new and select android resource file and here you can type your name let's say i type floating underscore menu and select this value to menu fun ok now go to the text and here you can add items let's say i select item and give the id let's say i give the id first and give the title first now again copy this and paste two to three times as you want now select the id first to second third and fourth okay now change the title first second third and fourth now go to the main activity and override the method on create context menu now here we inflate that menu that we have created floating menu so menu inflator menu inflator is equal to get a menu inflator by using this object we can inflate the menu so menu inflator dot inflate r dot menu dot floating menu and the second parameter that provide this menu so just pass menu now run the application here you can see our application successfully running let's long press on this button here you can see our menu is available on this long press now we will set click even listener on this option menu so let's create it so override one more method on context option menu this one and now we will remove this method and create the switch method now by using the item dot get id we can get the id of the items and here we will create the cases to access or we can recognize or we can recognize the 
menu item so let's say case one r dot id dot let's say first now create a toast message let's say i call it first now break it now copy this case and paste it here again and again now first to second and also change this first to second now first to third and also we will change third at the end we call fourth okay now at the end we will return true okay now run the application again now click on first here you can see first menu is clicked let's try again and now click on third here you can see the third menu is clicked third menu is clicked so if you have any question please ask me in the comment section and please give me the suggestion and see you next video